In today's video, I'm going to be exposing John MacArthur. He's a false prophet that's loved by many and trusted by many, and he's deceiving many people. He's teaching a clear as day work salvation, and I'm going to expose him today for the false prophet that he is. So I'm going to play a clip here of him clearly teaching work salvation. Now we learned in our message last time from verses 13 and 14 that there are only two possible options. There is a narrow gate that goes to heaven and there is a broad road that says heaven but goes to hell. The narrow gate is hard to find and hard to go through because it demands denial of self, denial of self-righteousness, recognition of sin, full repentance, submission to Christ, commitment to obey him and follow him no matter what the cost. So John MacArthur adds works to salvation by saying the narrow gate requires commitment to Christ, obedience to Christ, denial of self, etc. Those are all works that we do. They have nothing to do with our salvation. We should do them, of course, but our salvation is solely dependent on what Jesus did for us and by believing on him for that promise of eternal life. So the verse he said was Matthew 7, 13 to 14. That's the one he was quoting. It says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth unto destruction. And many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. So this was translated from the KJV version. Some Bible versions, like the ESV version, will have this false translation where they say it is hard, and that's teaching works because it's not hard. It's hard to find because most people are trusting in themselves for salvation and not on the work and promise of Jesus Christ. So you don't, you don't want to evaluate the character of your salvation by your failures. You want to assess the genuineness of your salvation by your desires, by what you love, what you long for, what you want. And you're here. And that, that says everything. In that clip, John MacArthur said you can know your salvation is genuine by your desires. And that's not what the Bible says. We're not saved by our desires. Our desires have nothing to prove with our salvation. The only way we can have assurance is through what Jesus did for us. First John 5, 12 to 13 says, He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. So, if we believe on the Son of God, you know, Jesus, we have eternal life. The Bible says it right there. And John eleven twenty six 26 also says, And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Jesus says, he's making a promise that if you believe on him, you're never going to die. So, how much more assurance do you need then? See, it's, it's messed up. That's about all I have for John MacArthur. He's one of the most dangerous false prophets out there today. Please mark and avoid him. Take care.